Why Did I Get Married To is about marriage, the complications of marriage, the benefits of marriage, and most of all, the sanctity and the, and the importance of marriage and why we must appreciate it every day because tomorrow is not promised. I think if Tyler wanted to get a message across in this movie, as he does with all his movie, is that, that appreciate every moment of life and celebrate every moment of your marriage because you just never know. He just really has an incredible and intuitive instinct about marriages and the complications of marriage. So these, these stories of these couples, there's much more truth than fiction. You doesn't have to look far. I don't think there's any relationship in, this, in, in, in Why They Get Married too that you could say is exaggerated. It is, the, you know, the, the, the profiles and personalities of, these, of each individual and, and the couples you can find almost anywhere, any day. I mean, that's what makes, I think, the film, that's why the film was so popular, because people would say, you know, that's my friend. I, I have a friend like that, or I know a couple like that. So the relatability factor was so, is, is so high. And Why They Get Married too, Tyler has, reprises his role as Terry. And his growth as an actor in this movie, this is movie number nine, uh, within a period of five years, watching his dramatic work and his performance is, is just amazing. I think it's the best performance I've seen him give in all the films that I've been fortunate enough to produce with him. Janet Jackson's performance is, is, is just startling. And the, the depth of range, the rage, I mean, we think of, we never knew Janet could be so angry and so mean, but when provoked, as she is in this film, she expresses rage in a way we've never seen. Jill Scott, you know, created the character of Sheila in the first film and, and once again plays it here. And Jill is just an amazing actress. I mean, we, we know Jill Scott, the singer, but to see her work as an actress, um, I think we, we saw it in, in the original film, Why They Get Married, and, and once again here, she just reminds us of just how exceptional she is as an actress. I cannot imagine this movie without Tasha Smith, and I don't think anyone could play that role. I mean, I think she has branded that role in a way, um, and put her stamp on it, and, and the audience looks forward to it. I mean, I think we'd have a, a, a huge a riot from the Tyler's fans if, if we didn't have Angela in this movie, because they want to know what becomes of that marriage. Their marriage is the most interesting because it's the most entertaining, you know, because it's the most conflict, the most passion, um, you, know, and, you know, the most volatile, but it is not lacking for love. You know, I think they, you know, she loves Marcus so much that she will do anything to make sure that, that, that they remain married. It's a beautiful type of colonial plantation. I may not be describing architecture, but it is large enough to accommodate, you know, four or five couples and set in its own, on its own private beach. And it was just the perfect setting. And so uh, I think, once again, the locations and, and the, the, the homes in the first women's film have been characters and stars in their own way.